Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero Season 2 Part 2 Episode Number 6. Alright, so uh, the previous episode we are still in the flashback. Uh, Emilia is like doing her trial and um, we saw how Betelgeese like uh, changed, like how he is now, how that happened. Like he, cons not consumed, but he got this like a box within uh, which there was this unseen hand which kind of uh, possessed his body I'm guessing and that's why he like started kind of like getting mad I'm guessing and uh, like his like talking pattern also changed he like talks about love and like always like ends his words with a death you know that death so all of those things uh, like we kind of got to know how that happened so that and uh, like all the while like Archie I'm guessing sacrificed himself uh, and like uh, Fortuna is also struggling with Pandora and Emilia and like in the end we saw Emilia and Pandora coming face to face I'm guessing Emilia is the key and the tomb or whatever that is the seal that they're talking about that's the seal and I'm guessing Emilia is the key so like like I don't know what Pandora is going to do now so let's just see what happens so yeah guys and without further ado let's get started with ReZero season 2 part 2 episode number 6 and also I really wish that they show the opening I really wish like I've like I've heard the song obviously because uh, the song has been like uh, long since released but the visuals like we need the visuals so let's just see like if this is the episode that we get to see the opening or not so yeah let's get started I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Which I'm guessing Emilia is. Yeah, what happened to Fortuna and Betelgeuse? All right, that is quite apparent. Oh, is this the opening? The visuals? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's finally, like I've heard the song, obviously, like it has been out for quite a while. I was unable to like stop my curiosity and listen to it. But the visuals is something. The song is amazing. Oh, Satella. Who is this? Is this Subaru? Beatrice, Sekidona, Ryuzu. The gospel or tome, whatever that is. Oh my god, not the rabbit again. Oh. <laughs> oh, this song is so good. Oh, this is, I'm guessing, when she was sealed. Okay, we can see Beatrice is going to get quite, like, a, a lot of screen time. And the rabbits. Okay. All right, that's uh, okay. This is going to be good. Like, you, you know, like Rizzo always has this first portion is extremely full of suffering, and the second portion is like so good. Okay. Safe. All right. Hmm. Okay. All right, she seems pre pretty reasonable. Hmm. Oh, okay. So what is the key?
Um, what? I thought Emilia is the key, but... Okay, calm down, girl. Yeah, that's wonderful. I... <sighs> Wait, is she really, like, somehow connected to the witch? Like, obviously, Ekidona kind of said this before, like, you're the witch's daughter, so... But I thought that, like, he was just, like, messing with her. Oh my god. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh boy, she doesn't even have any choice, like, she has to do it, otherwise this Pandora will, like, kill everyone. Oh, Pandora can see it. Okay. Qualified. Oh my... Yeah... Oh no, Pandora won't be happy. Uh, Pandora won't be happy. I'm having a bad feeling. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, Pandora won't be happy. I I'm ha I'm scared to look at her. Uh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Damn. Yeah, she didn't even notice Emily was here. Oh boy, she is this... Fortuna will be pissed at this. Yeah, ah oh boy. What's the deal with Pandora? Like, she, she's like, she has some kind of power, which... Oh! Oh my... Oh my god, this girl is messing with her.
But I think something bad's going to happen if the seal is broken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she realizes that Archie is like... Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think that's possible. Like this girl is pretty. Oh, petal kiss is here. His eyes. Oh no. Oh, oh no, what happened? What? Oh! Wait! What happened? Wait, I, I, I saw the unseen hand going through her, like... How did this happen? Oh no! He... she messed with... Oh! Pandora messed with Petal Geese. Oh no! <sighs> She's dead. Like, you, you cannot live from that. This girl is scary. Like, as an enemy, like, what the hell? Oh, bleed. Yeah, she went, he went mad like this. <laughs> okay, this is... still has a little bit of life oh god damn it oh no she's light from her eyes
I still like had a little hope that maybe Fortunis are still alive and frozen somewhere, but but no, she she really is dead. Wow, what a what a great solution, isn't it? Oh, that oh, this is what Emilia wears. Yeah. Okay, I never noticed this. Like this was from Fortuna. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what is this power? Oh, this is the power uh, from the OVA. I kind of remember. Damn! Also, okay, I'm guessing Emilia is the one who froze everyone. Oh, what's happening? Oh yeah, she he's she's freezing everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Damn. Uh, which was Puck, I'm guessing. Like Puck like unfreezed her. But he was not as strong as to like like unfreeze everyone. Oh boy. Oh, so she sealed the memory. Oh, okay. Yep. So she's the one who erased everything. Oh, okay. Oh my god. She must have like said something about love to Betelgeuse. Yeah, and Betelgeuse like leaves. Yep. God damn it. Like Okay, she witnessed everything. Yeah. Which of vanity? Okay. Authority of vanity. Uh. Mm, yeah, technically yes, but Okay Parting with the greatest regret, uh, same with Subaru, you know Like she he had one regret about his parents, which he kind of cleared out
I think she's pretty strong now, you know, to face his past, her past. No, why would she? Like... Mm. Okay, so the seal is still like there, like the seal has not been broken. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like look forward to the future, like not lament about the past. Like the past is gone. You won't be able to do anything. Okay, she passed the trial. She accepted herself. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Excuse for your Oh boy. <laughs> Ikidona is pretty harsh on it, Emilia. <laughs> Oh yeah. Hmm. Look, the first one was like, yeah, obviously three trials. Like the first trial is like accepting your past self. Okay, it's easy. Damn the. <laughs> Don't hate you as much. That means she still hates her. <laughs> Little bit. Not as much. <laughs> okay. Alright. Congratulations. First one passed. Yeah, like she's still sad about Fortuna.
The permafrost of Elier Forest. Whoa. Do we get the ending? Or not? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what does... Poor Otto. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh okay so they're going back to the mansion to like uh or not wait a minute <laughs> yeah he's ready <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> War paint, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, he never met uh okay. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh. oh okay, so Otto being here kind of like threw everything out of its place. Damn, so Otto is like the centerpiece of this thing that happened. Damn. Hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay.
Um, we want to go back to the mansion. Oh, okay. The real reason. Okay, what is that? I'm guessing we're going to like listen to that in the next episode. <laughs> oh boy, it ended. Ah, okay, that was uh, um, what can I say? Uh, kind of got a closure. Emilia got a closure, and um, yeah, I'm guessing everything is going all according to like what uh, Subaru predicted how it is going to go. So everything's fine now. Now, okay, so in this episode, uh, first of all, uh, <coughs> we get the opening. Yes. Um, uh, so with the visuals, obviously, like uh, I've heard the song uh, quite a like, lot of times, obviously. But the visuals, obviously, is the first time. And um, it kind of showed a few things. Uh, first of all, Beatrice was shown a lot of times, which I am really looking forward to. Because I really don't want to, like, you know, get more into like Beatrice's uh, like uh, her character development and everything. I really want to like watch that. And I was kind of thinking like, is this going to be in this season or maybe the next season? Like if it was in the next season, we would have probably have to wait. And uh, like, so um, I, I, at least I think that we're going to get Beatrice's character development or her story uh, in this season, which I'm really glad. <coughs> at least I think so from the opening. So yeah, let's just see. And okay, so that was that. And then we get like into whole the whole like uh, Petal Keys, Emilia and um, Fortuna and Pandora uh, situation. So now, like you know the funny thing? The funny thing here is that Pandora never harmed them. You know, like she never like did anything. Like, everything that was happening happened because like obviously like she messed with uh, like uh, Fortuna and al also like uh, Petal Geese's um, like, perception and all obviously because Petal Geese's like sight was kind of messed up and with the blood and also at the same time I'm, I'm sure like Pandora did something to him so because of that like he mistook uh, Fortuna as Pandora and like sh shot the like unseen hand through her so like like i don't know like obviously uh like an enemy like how do you like uh, gauge a power level of an enemy who did nothing who just stood there you know so obviously she is i'm thinking like i'm thinking like she is pretty damn strong but there's a big but here like she is strong but i doubt she is like strong in the sense like uh, you know as strong as um of the other like people for example uh just take uh, like uh, garfield like garfield is strong physically but i'm guessing pandora is strong in a different sense like pandora is strong by like you know messing with people and kind of like doing this whole genjutsu thing you get like the way she was doing it and that's how she is strong she is strong in my like mind games and like uh like messing your like perception up and like making you do stuff which you like think which you are not supposed to do for example he like messed with uh, uh petal Keys's vision and did something that petal Keys would have never done so that and also another thing another thing uh, like <clears throat> counts as a strength that is i'm guessing uh the way she continuously revives uh or i don't know like is, is that something like i'm like we're seeing her die isn't it like she's getting killed like we can see her blood and everything we can see her remains so does this does she have like she has some weird powers like in the previous episode we saw her like just say something like uh uh like regarding <laughs> regulus corneas like she said something like uh, uh like i what did she say oh yeah she said that um <clears throat> regulus corneas is now at his like home at his mansion surrounded by his wife she just said this and regulus corneas like got vanished and even like the thing that the uh uh his like whole existence got like uh cleared out from that situation you know so i'm guessing she has some kind of uh, like power which messes with time and space like uh like uh, petal Keys's hand got cut but she just said that uh petal Keys, uh like uh regal is not here she's he's back at his home 
which I'm guessing kind of messed with, you know, time, space and uh, like relativity, or, you know, all the science fiction things that happens. And his existence from here got cancelled. And he went back to the place uh, in his mansion. Just because like his existence here got cancelled, the result of him being here also got cancelled. And uh, like Petrogis got her got his arm back. So I'm guessing this is, you know, something uh, like we always like uh, hear about in anime. Uh, Sharinga's cat. Like, uh, you know, when someone um, observes you, like that's when your uh, existence is there. Like, uh, you know, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time, unless and until you like observe it. And like when you observe it, only that time you can like either say that, ah, this is dead or, oh, this is alive. Whenever you observe it and like both the branches, one of the branches becomes true. And like a, a lot of things like multiple worlds uh, th theory, like parallel worlds and stuff, like a lot of like these things. So I'm guessing her power, like at least one of his, her power works like this. But I'm really not sure about like her reviving like that. Like I'm not even sure if she is reviving or doing something else. Like we can see like she is continuously getting killed. Like we can see the blood and stuff. We can see her like getting killed. But then her body disappears and he like she appears again. So I'm really not sure what that actual power is. Uh, probably we'll like learn later on. So yeah, anyways, uh, so the, that was the whole thing with Pandora. And she messed with Petalgees and uh, Fortuna. And like, like she did nothing, you know, she just did nothing. Like she, like in that way, she's scary. Like she just got her, um, the thing that she wanted just by standing there and messing with people. So <clears throat> Fortuna, like I, I, I really hoped that Fortuna, maybe Fortuna is alive. You know how like Petalgees is still alive, was still alive. And just like how the uh, other people are like frozen, but like I hope they're still alive. So in that way, I thought maybe Fortuna is also like frozen somewhere. And like if Emilia is able to like uh, <clears throat> break the curse or whatever, uh, the fro like uh, the freezing will go off and maybe Fortuna will come back. Uh, but it turns out that that's not the case. Um, Fortuna really is dead. Uh, she was a good character. I really liked her. Like you know. Um, and I, I, like I'm sure like Emily would have been a lot happier if like she was still alive and frozen somewhere but you know reality like sometimes it is really sad and that's what happened here also another thing that got cleared up here is like uh, I had this impression of you know the seal was the reason why everyone was everything was like frozen turns out that's not the case so the seal is still there the seal has not been broken but Emilia is the cause of everyone freezing. And Emilia's uh, power, uh, you know, I think it's, it's kind of similar to Pandora's. Like, you know how she is just saying that die, die, and like, uh, like, like icicles come and uh, like, like, tr like, uh, was like uh, killing uh, Pandora. Like, uh, like the, the reason why I say it's uh, a lot similar to Pandora is because like, uh, you know, uh, obviously I said this before, like Pandora in the previous episode did a similar thing. She just said something and it materialized or dematerialized. Similarly, uh, like Emilia's power is also kind of, I'm guessing like that, not like completely similar to that, but something like, like that, I don't know. And this power we also saw in the OVA, you know, that uh, Frozen Bond OVA, where like she had this like, <clears throat> like freezing thing coming out. Uh, my memory is a little bit uh, dull, uh, like uh, it's kind of like I've forgotten a bits and pieces of it, but I can kind of remember something like this happening in the OVA. So I'm sure we get more answers later on. Mm, yeah, and and I'm guessing like after this puck comes and unseals her. Uh, and yeah, and <clears throat> okay, that was it. And and Pandora said another thing that uh, we'll again meet after you like uh, unfreeze and are like uh, <coughs> after you're unfreezed and uh, we'll meet again. He said something like that. So I'm guessing like in the real world, uh, Pandora is also going to come sooner or later. Um, yeah, because this is like a flashback. Like we have only seen Pandora in a flashback. So yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Petalgees, like we see how Petalgees transformed in this episode. Like, uh, like even after like him killing uh, Fortuna, uh, Pandora still messed with his mind and said stuff about love and everything. So yeah, that kind of, you know, 
made him full go full mad and he started like becoming this person uh the archbishop as uh, the archbishop of uh, sloth and like the things happened like uh, he like captured subaru killed rem and stuff and all of those things obviously that's not this run it was something that happened in a parallel world but yeah something like that happened and <laughs> also another thing i realized this episode was uh, you know when uh, battle geese was so like uh, like in season 1 when she he saw like rem come and for subaru just for rem's love for subaru for like trying to help him like he was like quite impressed at that and she he said a lot of things regarding that you know like uh, like you are like it's so beautiful seeing love like this and stuff like uh, like stuff like those and he even like kind of chastised subaru saying that uh, like you don't deserve this love or something like that so the reason is quite apparent here like why he is like this why he gives like you know the stress on love because Pandora messed with him, you know, he, she whispered stuff in his ears and completely like brainwashed his broken brain. You know, his brain was already broken and she like went there and like sprinkled some salt on it. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, anyways, uh, okay, so that happened and... <clears throat> and then uh, I'm really not sure why he like... <laughs> If you do not so um you know um like has like does she have a grudge on Emilia or something? I'm really not sure. Like like seeing Ekidona like um interacting with Emilia kind of makes me realize that the way she uh, like uh like uh, interacted with Subaru is really something different. You know like uh, like obviously like um. When Subaru met Ekidona, that was the first time we like got introduced to her. She was so, you know, kind of like playful and a little bit of, you know, uh, had like a smug face on and always like messing with Subaru and everything. Like she had like a playful kind of uh, like attitude with Subaru. And I thought maybe this is like, obviously, I'm sure a lot of us also thought this, that em like Ekidona's personality is like this. But like after she is talking with Emilia, I don't know, like I think... <laughs> Like, she, <laughs> like maybe she she is really like not happy with Emilia's about something like I'm really not able to pinpoint like what like the actual problem like uh, Ekidona has with Emilia uh, uh, maybe the, uh, as she said that hypocrisy or whatever like that she is doing uh, I'm guessing that is does not sit well with uh, Ekidona or something I'm sure we'll like, like at least I'll gradually realize like uh i'm still cannot like able to pinpoint why like ekidona is so <laughs> you know <laughs> so critical with uh, emilia and so uh, like kind of hateful towards her and but emilia doesn't care like she <laughs> she is just like oh well like i also hate you but not as much as you <laughs> oh my god okay uh, that and then we get uh, like the later portion of Subaru, uh, Ryuzu and uh, Ram, Garfield, Otto talking and um, <clears throat> uh, okay and I'm guessing like this portion has already been resolved you know uh, Emilia and the trial and everything so I'm guessing we're going to see more about Beatrice after this which I'm really looking forward to and I'm guessing they'll like go back to the mansion and also another thing like you know uh, like you know there's this character who is like uh, quite insignificant and like uh, is like not always like um like the spotlight does not actually fall on them uh, every anime has one like not going to lie <laughs> in season 1 i thought like otto was uh, like a character like that but like also th that's the reason why like <laughs> ross was gospel or whatever that did not show anything about Otto because he was a completely like you know um foreign like a uh, foreign unit he was a completely foreign unit and i'm guessing why like uh, Oros was uh, like uh, did not like anticipate Ot Otto was because uh, like um like normally how things went Otto would have never met Subaru but because of Subaru's, you know, repeated like uh, uh, repeats of his life and everything, he met Otto and Otto became a good friend of his. 
So I think that was like uh, like uh, a calculation miss from uh, Roswell. So that's the reason why like, <laughs> he never even anticipated Otto coming here. And I think that's the, also the reason why like Super won his wager. You know, like uh, according to Roswell, uh, like Otto was not there. So he didn't even know, like, uh, like she, he expected Subaru to fail. That was the reason why he expected Subaru to fail. And, <laughs> like, funnily enough, Otto came in and completely, like, flipped the table, encouraged Subaru, and completely, like, changed his future in that way. So, like, him being a foreign, like, unit, foreign uh, person, like, material in the, like, uh, whole story, kind of helped Subaru and like Subaru got like motivated by him and he kind of stood up on his own like feet and that changed the whole like, like the whole thing that happened everything that happened after that and Roosevelt's like obviously Roosevelt's uh, book didn't have anything about Otto so he w did not predict this so so you know so Otto is like the main reason why like Subaru was able to win so like good job man like I have to say <laughs> <laughs> like his uh like his personality and everything kind of you know uh show like made us think that he would probably be like one of, one of those side characters but no he <laughs> he became one of the main characters in this show and i'm really glad about that like i never thought like we would see a day like this you know otto subaru and like garfield <laughs> like buddies like <laughs> with each other like laughing and talking wow it's amazing like it's like a like nothing like this i've never expected something like this at least from season one and like uh, from the first part of season two but well, okay this is amazing i have to say like like good storytelling like they really like put enough like thought in this whole situation and as subaru said <laughs> the main <laughs> heroine of season two is Otto. <laughs> like, you know from season one Rem kind of like uh, made Subaru uh, realize everything and made him uh, like get back his self-confidence and everything and gave him a good scolding and said that no like uh, like uh, like you have the thing in you like you can do it and that's why Subaru was able to like recover and uh, like uh, able to uh, beat the uh, whale you know that's why like everyone like, like loves Rem so much like she was the uh, thing that Subaru needed who helped him and uh, like get his character development so <clears throat> um, obviously because like Rem is not here like you needed someone to give Subaru again that push in his back because Emilia is not that person because like for Emilia Subaru is that person you know that's why Emilia cannot like give Subaru a push at least until now I'm sure in the future like there will also a time will come when Emilia will also like boost Subaru's morale up and also like help him in that way but like um, at least uh, now uh, Emilia like is not in that position like Subaru is there for Emilia not Emilia but I'm sure like a time like that will come later on so who is there then like who would be the person to give Subaru that boost Ekidona kind of helped, you know, in the previous, uh, like, part of season 2, where, like, Subaru was able to, like, uh, pour his heart out about, like, uh, him being unable to say this return by death to anyone. Emilia kind of, like, uh, not Emilia, Ekidona kind of, like, comforted him, and that kind of helped. But no, that was not all. Like, Otto later on really gave him that push, and <laughs> hats off, like, that's something that I would have never expected, and that's, like, really good. So, yeah, like, good job, Otto. <laughs> okay and uh, yeah so that was it that was this episode uh, i really liked it it was kind of sad in the, in the uh, like middle portion of it but everything kind of like like emilia got her closure and i'm sure like she will like get up more stronger and uh would be able to you know uh fight for herself and everyone so yeah emilia got emilia got his character development subaru is like getting his character development from season one and he is like still growing and i'm sure he'll grow more so yeah like i really love this show i have to say like this is something that like reason for season one was so good i really liked it but in this season i have to say like um this will probably like be one of those best shows you know like that we always think about whenever we like think about anime Rizuru will probably like go to that like place and I am I have to say that like, I am really enjoying it like this is really like something really good 
who would have thought like super would be like this today like uh, from episode was he was kind of you know uh yeah, like kind of uh, uh like a troubled teen but now he is like this man <laughs> okay anyways guys so thank you guys for watching um this was rezero season 2 part 2 episode number 6 so i can't wait for the next uh, episode so you guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, comment down below anything you want to say or uh, anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with another episode of rezero season 2 part 2 next week same time and i really can't wait for this i i, I just like always like sit there and like anticipate like i i really like i'm excited for the ne next episode so much like uh, a, a lot of like a lot of animes are unable to make us feel this but rezero is one of those animes that is really able to like hype us up for the next episode and uh like that's a really big achievement So yeah guys so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day